Hi everybody, this is Ellen. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a slide. I um, was watching my kids play at the playground and I thought I can make one of those. Um, they're both basically the same. This one I added little feet and this one I didn't. Um, I'm actually going to show you how to do it without the feet because um, these were a super pain um, because they have to be just perfect otherwise the slide ends up being crooked when it's sitting there. Um, and that's not fun because you can't get it to stand up straight then. Um, it's not too bad to make. Um, a lot of this is kind of the futzy work with the um, making the rails and the ladder. Um, these are double one band double capped I guess or, or cap banded. Um, so we're going to make all that stuff first before we actually lay the bands for the slide. Um, I'll show you where I put the feet to get them and it's just a band pulled through like three bands wrapped around the hook three times. So um, if you want to try doing the feet sometime or you can try adding them in afterwards too. But um, I thought it was pretty cute. So I'm going to show you how to make these. So we're going to first start with making the um, the rail that goes up the top, or the bar here, and then the pieces for the ladder. So, of course, use good bands if you have them, or ones that you know work well. So, like I said, we are going to cat band them, and you want them to be um, strong enough to deal with the looping and stuff. So. Um, First we're going to put just a regular band right here. We're not going to double it or anything. And then we're going to go up the loom, 10 bands, and they're all going to be double capped. So I usually just put, you can either stretch it out on your fingers, loop it over, and then put it on. You can put it on the loom itself, twist it, put it on just so you're wrapping them around. I'm going to do it around my fingers because I think it's a little faster. Sorry, I'll try not to shake the camera there. actually need to do this line twice. So once you get to there, you want a band wrapped around this pin three times. Like that. So you have just a regular band and then you went up ten bands and then an end cap wrapped around three times. And we actually want to repeat that again for the other, because there's two of them. So do the same thing over again. Regular band, just put there, and then cat band, the next ten. You can do all these on your hook too, but um, I always make them crooked when I do them on my hook because I pull more on one side than the other. Um, regular band, 10 cap banded, and then end cap wrapped around three times. Like so. And then we can actually lay the bands for the rungs in here. Um, but I think we'll actually take off these first, just so I can spread out the rungs a little bit more. 
So we're going to go in through our end cap on pick a side and just loom all the way up to the end. One blue base that keeps having the pin bars go loose. So you do that on one side, then go ahead and do the other side as well. All right. So once you get to there. Um, you want to carefully take these off, put your hook in there, and my camera's going to shake here a little bit, so but there's one, and because the bands are so tight here, it'll actually hold this in there, so I'm just going to set that aside. Like so. Now, I'm going to lay for the rungs. And actually, we could just, we'll just do the ladder and do the rungs in the middle. So, for the ladder, we're going to do that first and then we'll do the rungs. We're going to take two bands, regular. And you're just going to actually start them right here. And then you're going to go up your loom 10. And we'll put a cat band on. I had to make sure of my numbers there. And these are cat banded. So two bands regular. And then go up your loom 10 cat banded. There's 10. See the two pins left up here. And right here you're going to wrap one band around four times. Like so. And come back and we'll do the other side the same way. Two bands, regular, just in the corner here. And then up 10, cat banded. And our end cap around four times. Like so. And now we need to lay the bands um, for the rungs because we need to get those on first before we actually loop up the ladder. So the rungs are going to be a single regular band. And then we're going to go up three cap band and then wrap around an end cap. So regular band down three cap banded and then an end cap wrapped around three times. So we'll come and loop 
this up. Like that. Take this off. We have our little rung. We just put that aside for now. But we need two more of those. You can make this on your hook if you want. Um, but like I said, I end up pulling way too tight. So it's all crooked all the time. So this seems to help when I do it on the loom. Okay. Seems to help. Regular band, then three cap banded, end cap wrapped around three times. And since we have the room, we'll just do the other one right now too. So regular band, three cap bands. End cap wrapped around three times. Alright, so we'll loom up those center ones again, or the rungs of the ladder, in through the end cap. And just loom them up. And do the next one. Like that. All right, so we'll pull this off. I'm just gonna set it aside. And I'll pull this one off, and we'll actually put this one on. So down here by our arrow, you're going to count up to the third pin. So one, two, three, and it's gonna go across here. So your open part on one side and your cap band on the other side. Like that. But with this one band pulled through, grab the top part of it, the top band, pull it tight, twist it and wrap it around again. Then we are going to go up to the sixth pin so three, four, five, six, and we're going to put the other one, or another one, since there's two more, or one more. End cap on one side bands on the other. Or open end on the other. These are twisted. Like that. Then same thing. Just grab that top band, pull it over, twist it, make it tighter. And then the last one. go up to the ninth, so six, seven, eight, nine. Put the open bands on one end, end cap on the other. Make this side tight. So there we have that. Turn this around and now we can loom up the sides of the ladder. So you go in through the end cap 
and it is tight because we need it to be tight, but then pull up that band and go all the way up. So make sure when you get to here, you go in through the latter pieces. Just grab this last two bands and pull them over for now. Then come and do the other side. like so. So now I usually pop off the end caps because they are tight. And then come up here, put your hook in through here, and carefully pull off your ladder. You can use your hook to pull it off if it seems like it's too tight. So then again, you can take your hook out of the end, and the bands just kind of stay in there like they should. Um, you might have to do some adjust adjustments to this um, if it seems like it's like it's a little crooked right here. So I'd go in on the side that it's kind of pointing or curved in, grab that band or band that's close to there. Just kind of pull it towards me a little bit to straighten it out. When I do it on my hook, they look like this when I was done just because of how I pulled, so um, that looks pretty good. But you can fix it later once you get it on the rest of the slide, too, and you're setting it up. So, so now we have the ladder, the little handle things that go over the side. So just set those aside for now. And now we're going to lay the bands for the slide. And hopefully I don't make this too confusing. This is two bands, um, two bands for the entire slide, um, whatever color you want that to be. So we'll start in the middle and go up nine. that. I'm just kind of push them down. And now we're going to come off to the side and then go up nine again and then come back towards the middle. We're going to come from the second pin back to the corner. It's two bands still. And now go up nine. And when you get up to here, you're going to come back to the center, like that. And then back to the beginning, we're going to do the same thing up the other side. Nine up.
like so. So that's the slide part. Um, we'll put on the other bands in a minute here um, for the to keep them connected. So we'll go up here to where the platform of the slide is, right here. We'll start by going up two bands, up three. Like that. And you'll come over here, go up two bands. And then back towards the center. Do the same thing on the other side. Two bands up two. Then back towards the center. Like so. Then we want to put an end cap here, um, like three times around. Like that. And now, we'll put on our little cross piece bands. Um, up here in the platform, we're going to do a triangle like that. And then a, another one right here. And then when we get down into the slide, we're actually going to reverse our little triangle and go the other way. So it's pointing down instead of pointing up. So now we're going to come up to the top part here and start putting on our other pieces. So I'm going to turn the loom around. Not that close. And we start first with our ladder. And what we're going to do is I'll turn this a little bit. How the bands kind of stretch out here. For this moment, we're going to stretch it like that and do that on both sides. You can use your hook too if that's easier, but but like that. Now, once you have that on, you're going to take the rung parts that we made and the end cap side you're going to wrap it around this pin. Like that. Do the same thing with the other side. Follow me so far, hopefully. It took me a long time. I made a lot of slides before I got to this, which I thought was less confusing. Um, so now take your hook and you're going to go in and you're going to grab this band through the end cap of the little um, handle bar thing. Take it and pull it up and over. So we essentially just trapped that end cap in the top of the ladder. And do the same thing on the other side. Like that. And then you want to take these off. Should still be attached. And we're going to flip them over. Um, it's easier for right now if you kind of come around the inside. We're going to take these open bands that are stuck through it. We're going to put them over here, over these pins. Like that. 
then we want to make this on here tighter. So take the band up here, pull tight, twist it, and put it back on. And we're going to do the same thing for the other side. Just kind of pull it around. Put it on. Grab that top band with the rung part or little handle. Take it, twist it, and put it back on. So now it's attached here by these pins and it's attached up here between these two. And now to make sure that this stands up straight, um, we're just going to add a little bit, kind of like a holder on the side to keep it on. So two bands, wrap them around your hook once, and take two more bands, pull them through, and two more. like that. And you're going to put them, put the end cap on this pin and stretch the other open end up here to this pin. So. There ends up being a lot of bands on this pin, but they are fairly loose so it's not too hard to loom through. So there's my end cap and my loose bands are coming up here. And then you can actually take this, or you need to, and flip it to the outside. Make sure you flip it out because otherwise um, you'll loom it and this handle will be squished into the middle and that won't be good. So like that. Now we got to do it for the other side. We're almost there. Two bands wrapped around your hook. Pull two bands through. And two more bands. And we'll do the same thing. This side over here. end cap on the first pin, open bands up here, and you just kind of hang them off to the side. And then this, you need to flip back to the outside, like that. So now we're ready to loom. So what we're going to do is we have an end cap here. We're going to go in through there and your ladder is probably going to be in the way a little bit. So just kind of pull it down. Not too hard because you don't want to stretch the bands any more than we already have, but you go in through your end cap, grab the top two bands, which should take you to the right here. And then we'll just empty out the rest of these so we get out of the way of the ladder. The other ones, next one should go to the left, and then you'll have the other ones going up the center. All right, so now we'll go up to this pin right here. So go in through here, and like I said, there are a lot of bands. It's it is kind of tight. Um, it's not horrible because they're not um, wrapped real tight, but just be careful. Pull them up bring it to that pin. Make sure that this is on the outside. Make sure that this little thing we put is on the outside. And you want to go in through here, grab the next band, and pull it up. Then come back to this corner and go up to here again.
like so. Then we'll come back and do the center. Like that. Now we're going to come over here to the side, grab the top band, which should go back to the center. Like that. And do the same thing over here. Top two bands to the center. Just want to get those out of the way. Now you can actually loom all the way down this side and then back to the center pin right here and then stop. So in through here, loop all the way down, come and do the other side like so. And now back here to the middle. Reach all the way down, grab the bottom two bands, and you're going to loop all the way to the end. Again, there are a lot of bands here, but they aren't too bad because they're kind of loose. I gotta see my bottom two. So find the bottom two bands and pull them up. Now, um, you'll want to take these corners off and come back here, take out the end cap. off basically the whole platform because <laughs> it um, it'll stick all right so I got the platform off come down here which hook through this end and pull this off. And then we will um, secure this by just making a slip knot, but kind of turn it around to the underside of your slide. So the knot's on the underneath. And then you're able to Stick your hook up through some of the cross pieces. One more. Just kind of on the under side of the cross pieces, though. Grab the end and hide it. Like so. And now you're looking at it going, yeah, that's not a slide. So, now to fix this, um, you're going to up here in these top green bands and mine for the slide. I stick my hook underneath all four on that side and just start pulling forward. Do the same thing 
on the other side. Basically we're just changing the position of the bands in there. You just have to readjust a few things, kind of stretch things out a little bit where they go. Um, sometimes the ladder needs a little adjustment as an attitude. So, but it'll stand up. I still need to pull these tighter. But like so. Nice little slide. Um, if you have the feet, you can try and adjust those how you want. But it stands up pretty nice. I'm going to have a little slide party at my house tonight. So they look pretty good, I think. They're, I mean, obviously not perfect because they're made out of rubber bands, but I thought they were kind of adorable and like I said, I got the idea when I was playing at the park with my kids, so he likes to slide. And you can adjust the, by just pulling it, basically, adjust how much you want it to curve or not curve, or you just kind of have to manipulate it. Like this one's almost straight, because I have the feet on there. But Like so. But that's my slide. Hope you liked it. It's kind of some of it's kind of a uh, um, fussy work, but other parts are aren't too bad. If you have a problem with it standing up, also check your um, the straightness of your ladder because that makes a difference too. That's better. So I hope you like my slides. Um, obviously they're probably not, unless you um, put a wire in there or something, they would not support the figures, but um, for a little ambiance at your little rubber band house, they look pretty fantastic. I just like making weird stuff, I think. But thank you for watching, I hope you liked it. Um, I don't know, I just had to make it, so um, I'll have more tutorials for you guys soon. As always, I really appreciate you watching them. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can see when I'm coming out with new stuff. Um, and, of course, show me your pictures on my Instagram and my Facebook, which I love to see um, what you've done. Um, different color choices and things like that. It's awesome to see. Sometimes they're better than mine. But I will have, um, like I said, I'll have more for you soon. Thanks for watching.